Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this spotlight video. So yeah, for this one needs a spotlight. This is something uh, quite special, I think. At least for me, it's uh, the only one uh, Dracula that I have. This is Dracula Bella, as you can see on the label. And you may have seen it in a bot in one of my videos, but now the bot is opened and we have an actual flower. Look at that. And that, there it is. You can see, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But it's a bit, little bit difficult with my... Uh, I'm right-handed, so my, I hold it with my left hand, but... You have an idea. I think there it goes. You can see it's a little bit uh, easier. Downwards, and it's facing downwards, so I have to lift it up a little bit so we can see the bloom a bit better. And the colors, that beautiful yellow creamy color with that uh, red. And there are lots of, a lot of hairs here on those... Uh, inside of that bloom. But I don't know if you can see them on film, but on screen, but it's very beautiful. And this one decided to uh, not come from the sides, this spike, or underneath the pot, but uh, fairly uh, from up to, uh, above, from up the top of the pot. <laughs> so you can see it goes in there. So that's better, because otherwise it would hang in this face, and I probably would try to figure something out so I can, uh, could lift this a little bit. Um, but it's not necessary for this uh, this blooming because it's nicely grown uh, on the edge uh, over the edge of the vase and the pot. But yeah, this is that strange setup <laughs> that I uh, that I created. Well, at first it was for my uh, stenhopias, maybe you remember, but those didn't uh, seem to like it as much. But the Drac Dracula does uh, seem to like it uh, very much. I have just our own water and some seaweed in it. I just cleaned the vase and. Now that for the next two to three months, I just water it when I water my other orchids. I just water a little bit on top of it and let it drain into the vase. And I have a wicking material here. It's a, a Cintiq, a very long string of Cintiq that goes around into the pot, uh, just uh, uh, almost on top of the pot. Yeah, I have some pebbles, but right underneath there, there is that uh, Cintiq. So it keeps it very uh, humid and um, moist but also because of a net pot you can see there's a lot of air uh, gap so it's uh, moist uh, with a lot of air and i think that combination is uh, is really doing the trick for this one as you can see we have one new growth here and just one started here and i think the colors of those leaves do uh, look very very beautiful very nice green color and it's a bit shiny as you can see so i think it's doing very well and i'm really happy with the uh, two directions of growth because uh, who knows we're going to get more of these flowers i really really enjoy it and like i said this is my uh, one and only dracula at this moment maybe i will buy some more but i first wanted to try one just to see if this uh, did would work and now i'm curious to see if other draculas would uh, find this setup uh, nice as well so probably maybe someday i will uh, buy one or two more uh, Draculas and try to grow them and bloom them as beautiful as this one. So yeah, this is a uh, short uh, spotlight video, but I thought it uh, so nice. So I uh, thought, yeah, I really need to do a video up about this one. So as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.